Now, let's move on to dynamic annotation. Now, we just looked at the annotation and how that, how that works with our profile. Now, let's look also at how it is dynamic. So, I'm going to come back in here to the, um, uh, to the uh, uh, file here that I've got. And you'll notice, as I mentioned earlier, that I, my profile is actually a reference from my geometry okay so that kind of sets the scene for us once again also remember that my annotation has all been done in the drawing model so I've opened this up here and I showed you earlier how you could remove it and re-annotate it now what I want you to take a look at and again I, you can see here we've automatically labeled strip grades stations elevations the grid VPCs VPTs those kind of things I want to do some what I would call a one-off annotation and to do that I'm gonna go up to my drawing production tab and select the place label tool now the place label tool allows us to do one-off labels. Um, I can do it with a leader, without a leader. There's a couple of options. You can select a text favorite, which actually gives you different types of properties of the profile that you could choose to label. You can build cells if you want borders and stuff around them. You can build cells with those inside of them, uh, which we have done and delivered with our workspace. So I'm going to use a cell, and I'm going to go down here under the profile cells, and I'm going to do a profile station and elevation. Okay, so I'm going to select that. Again, we can control the rotation. Notice at the bottom, I want to make sure that I associate this label to the profile. Okay, so I'm going to enable that toggle because I want it to update if the profile moves. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to enable my near snap. I'm going to identify the profile. So as I move along it, my snap, and I'm just going to pick a point here. Um, and I'm going to label that, and I'm just going to say OK, and it, 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 it labels the correct station. And notice the elevation is 53.87 roughly. Okay, and we're going to come back to that in just a minute. So I've got everything done, and everything is looking good. Now, let's just say I decide um, that I need to make a change to my profile. Now, remember, this is a reference file. So if I want to make a change, if I select my profile, notice I don't get any element handlers because I shouldn't because, it, as I mentioned earlier, it's in a reference file. So there's not much I can do with it. So how do I make changes to it? Well, of course, I could just get out of this file, go back into my geometry file, and make the change there. But I'm going to show you a little bit different way um, to do that and just shows you some of the uh, functionality and capabilities that are available to you with open road. So I'm going to go back to my reference file dialog. I'm going to pop that up and you can see it's referenced in from the geometry. Okay, you can see the profile model. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to say activate. And what this does is that of course activates that reference file for me. Now when I select it I get the element handlers. Okay, and I can actually make changes to that profile. So I'm going to change the grade, at first, that starting grade there, from 1.8 to 2%. Okay, just, just some change that will that'll bump our profile up, as you saw it do. So once that's done, I'm just going to deactivate. So I'm back in my main file again. And now let's go over to the uh, that profile one drawing model. And you'll notice that all the annotation has been updated. So the strip grades have been updated. Um, everything's been changed. In fact, if you go in and look at that one-off, which was at 53.87, now it's at about 53, I'm sorry, 54.35. So uh, all of that is dynamic and live in the drawing model. And of course, because the drawing model is referenced directly to the sheet model, you can see, of course, our sheets are updated um, as we would um, expect. Now let's look at um, modifying our name boundaries. And we're going to do this in two parts. First, we're going to look at modifying the plan name boundaries. And then we're going to look at modifying the profile name boundaries. Now the plan's pretty easy. Um, I've added a couple of cells in here, just uh, uh, tree-looking cells, just to show you a, a, of a, a circumstance you might run across. So here I've got a couple of things in here um, that are cut off. And of course, because they're cut off here, that carries right through to the drawing model, of course. You can see they're cut off there. 
and of that and as I and that carries right through of course to the sheet because it's just referenced in so how could I how could I fix that well one way to fix it is of course to modify the boundary and the and the boundary I'm just going to select it and you'll notice it's nothing more than a microstation shape and it can be modified so I'm just going to move over to this vertex here at the very beginning and I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit so it goes outside of that tree cell I'm going to move down to the end and do the same thing on the other end I'm going to pick that last vertex and just slide it down so it kind of picks up whatever that feature is in this case it's a tree it could be anything now the nice thing about this once you've made the change you don't have to reclip anything it carries right through to the drawing model okay and because it carries right through to the drawing model it of course carries right through to the sheet model which references it now keep in mind those borders uh, you know they may look a little unseemly they're just a, a microstation element that you control the symbology in your seed files and they can be turned off at any time so that's just a real quick way uh, showing you how you can uh, modify your name boundaries in plan view to clean up a few things Next, let's look at modifying the name boundaries in your profile. Now, profiles are a little bit different animal. Now, I've got my, back in my file, I've got my um, uh, profile here. Now, notice I'm going to select them. And once again, they're just a microstation shape. I could actually pick these up and change the size of them. But just because you can do it doesn't mean you should do it. In fact, keep in mind, profiles are different. They have a grid associated with, with them. You try to keep them on a certain elevation datum. Uh, if you just willy-nilly go stretching these things, uh, you're going to cause yourself all kind of problems. So even though you can do it, it's definitely not a best practice and not recommended. Um, there are other ways to modify your name boundaries. And I want to show you a few of these. I'm going to go back to the Place Name Boundary tool and um, and bring it up. Now, what I'm going to do here is, uh, again, this is really, really some neat stuff you can do. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to delete two of these. So you'll see these first two. I've got a fairly steep elevation change on my profile um, from top to bottom. And so I need to kind of modify these two. So I'm going to delete them okay and I want to replace them alright so I'm gonna come back to replace them I just want to replace those two I don't really want to replace all four I want to replace all those two so I will use the same drawing seed same scale um, if I want to update my name so it starts with one instead of five I can do that but the key here is notice your group for the vertical I could create a new group, but I don't want to do that. I want to add it or append it to the existing group so they all go together. Remember, the two I deleted was from that group, so I want to add these two back to that group. And so if you just select that group, it knows that it needs to be appended. Now, notice if I just hit a data point, they'll look exactly the same, right? So I want to make a couple changes. Um, for example, I could, not saying you would, but I could change the vertical exaggeration here put a data point and those two sheets could be at a different vertical exaggeration than my final two sheets again not saying you would do that but that is a, an option and that's something that you can do that we never could do um, before um, but what I would probably be more apt to do is maybe change the profile height here so 10 actually comes from the seed file it knows that that's what it should be at a, at a 500 scale but I can actually change that to 13 notice those two name boundaries actually uh, have more profile height than the other two and again the key here is to add these to that um, group so we're not creating anything new here we're just adding those in so I'm gonna hit a data point and it'll add them to that group now um, another option you have as I mentioned earlier is there is a adjust name boundary um, for the profile and what this does it allows us to maintain to move it up and down and maintain the the datum spacing uh, on for the grid right and so I can just identify one accept it it'll pick it up and it may and it allows me to kind of move it up and down on these even elevations all right so I've kind of used a combination of those two things to modify my um, name boundaries now once this is done I, I want to recut my sheets so I'm going to come in here uh, just go to my name boundary manager right click and just say create the plan profile uh, drawings 
Again, down in the lower right-hand corner, you'll see these are being processed and annotated. And then once that's done, it will open up our, um, our model for us. <clears throat> so we'll let that finish up. Now it finally it opens up our, our, our fourth sheet. It always opens up the, the last sheet here. But I want to come in and look at the first sheet. So here's the first sheet. Notice how it's bigger now. Um, it picks up more. It covers more area. So um, our original spacing, we get a little bit of an overlap here. But that's very easy to fix. I just go to my reference files. I'm going to pick up the profile sheet. And I'm going to do a move. And I'm just going to slide that down a little bit as so and then I'm going to come back to my plan and do a move here and just slide that up a little bit and I get a lot nicer spacing and and it looks a lot better so again these are some of the tools and capabilities um, that are available to you um, to modify profile boundaries if you found this video helpful please give it a like if you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.